Hey, good morning, everybody. Sarasota Tim. Check it out, man. This is fun. <laughs> There's a thousand of them out there. There's a bunch of them. I'll walk around and show you guys in a little bit. But uh, right now, I got some. Uh, what's it? What's it called again? The Highlander Grog cooking. We're back, folks. We're back to videoing in the morning. We're on the Eastern time. We're actually in Central time. I just put my eye drops in. I'm sorry. Um, I'll be on Eastern time, hopefully, uh, in a few days after we leave here. That means that morning chat will be early again, and those that are waking up in the West Coast I will have something to see when they get up. It was all screwed up when I was out west, wasn't it? But uh, I've got some uh, some tomatoes and some bell peppers and some squash here that my cousin gave me. We stopped in uh, Monroe, Louisiana. It's a, it's a small town near Monroe, actually. And uh, saw my cousin and my uh, mom's brother, my uncle and his wife, and one of my other cousins, uh, their daughter. We had a great visit, and uh, they they have a garden. And so Penny uh, gave me these vegetables here. I'll have a uh, tomato sandwich later, or on my BLT. In fact, this morning I just went in there and Miss T said I could put on some medium bacon. So I'm going to get the... Uh, oven going now. I was going to take the griddle out and put it on the side of the uh, camper and cook, you know, either pancakes or bacon and eggs. And I might get it out and do it tomorrow. I haven't done that probably ever on the video. Well, yes, I did when I when I first bought it. Uh, it's in the back in the storage. I'm going to get it out. I'm, I've got my e-bike in there. Uh, we're going to be here a couple of days, but not very long, so I don't know if I'll get that out or not. Uh, the place is busy. There's people waiting to come in. It's summertime, vacation uh, time. I'm going to go down to Walmart this morning and show you guys what I think is the best Walmart in America. It's uh, because it's in Panama City Beach. It's got a lot of beach stuff. It used to. We'll find out when we get there. And then we're going to show you um, St. Andrews State Park the most sought after camping spot and park in America. A year ahead, people are uh, reserving spots there. Uh, naturally, we'll be down the beach uh, where you saw a little bit yesterday of that sugar sand and that um, beautiful clear water that's warm. Tonight, we're gonna be cruising the boulevard with all the other people cruising in their cars and golf cars. You saw the slingshot last night, that crazy ride. We had the best barbecue we ever ate in our lives yesterday at Back Beach Barbecue. And uh, there's the uh, the crusher right there. We're definitely winning. We're crushing it. I'm going to have some Highlander Grog right now and put on some bacon. We'll get a video of that too. Let me put this down and get everything kind of prepared. Good to have you guys with me this morning on Morning Chat. I had to come out this morning and uh, turn on the uh, the gas so I can get the bacon going. So I had to open this up and turn on one of my 30 pound propane cans. Got this big diesel here. This guy came in after, every spot's taken. And uh, just to give you an idea, very sandy here, Florida sand. Uh, that is on the sand of the ocean right there, that high rise. So it's literally walking distance across the street. What? <laughs> I know it looks crowded, but you know what? Last night, something very, very unique. Have you ever been camping before in your um, a tent? And at night, it's because you can't see everything. It's kind of cozy and uh, cool looking. So we're walking down the street last night. There's a half a moon, but it was dark. And people had all their, I've got my LED light on, I gotta turn that off. Uh, everybody had a little light on or something, but it was just a, um, you know, a glow. It wasn't bright lights. 
and the kids are running around and uh, yeah, a lot of kids here. Uh, you can see people got bicycles. Uh, there's people in the, this place is huge. It's way back in the back too. Uh, people are living here full time as well. Uh, this is a very transient uh, come and go area through here. And I, I just have to walk down here and show you this fifth wheel right here, a couple of doors down. Look at the size of it, look how shiny it is. Um, this thing is crazy beautiful. It's got a couple of a couple of slides on this side. I don't know what he tows it with. He's got his, um, his system there. A lot of, there's a shiny one over there, Class A. Uh, plenty of plenty of money, folks. Plenty of money. Uh, these RVs. Yeah, I've made a couple of videos. I've commented to many people in the comments. Uh, regarding a dog walk right here about um, traveling with the RV. And while it is absolutely an excellent life, uh, I haven't backed down on my, on my view of the roads. It's, it's really uh, very disheartening of the road conditions. Now, one or two people said they had a, uh, an RV in towed and you know didn't have much issue, but a lot of you did uh, concur that the, the roads are like, this is nothing. This is nothing. Folks, I'm talking about scary. I'm talking about, the, I thought the thing was gonna come off the hitch. And it was like uh, miles of riding on a railroad track. And these are the freeways that, you know, I-10, I-20, I-40, and the highways, they're pathetic. So all these folks are travelers. Now, some of them might be, uh, you know, from Georgia and they ran down here. And hey, you know, you can deal with that. You really can. But my, my thing is, I like to travel, you know, cross country long distances, and that is annoying. Uh, I wouldn't have anything bad to say. I mean, other than the roads still stink, uh, but to go from one state to another, you know, you can deal with it. But to travel every day, all day for five or six days uh, to get from one end of the country to the next, and you have to deal with that, it's just, I mean, uh, Tammy almost got a a headache she looking down at her phone and she was scared several times when we went over a big bump like what was that you know and it's just you know so enough about the roads but i'm sticking to my guns on that so if you're going to get one of these uh be prepared for it to be bounced around quite a bit so let's get that bacon going uh the dexter tires uh, dexter axles and the uh, goodyear endurance tires uh, did hold up so if you're going to get you a, a camper and you're gonna be traveling the, the roads, uh, consider, make sure you have Goodyear endurance tires. <laughs> uh, the Toyota, I mean, the suspension, the shocks and all these things, I mean, it's gotta take toll. Uh, the inside, nothing was damaged. Uh, my, that one door I got, I'll show you guys later, it really ticks me off uh, that I let that happen. This is my weight distribution hitch. I put out the uh, awning a little bit uh, just to keep the shade on it and any precipitation that we've got a forecast of uh, about 40% chance of showers. Uh, mostly this morning and then today, it's supposed to be mostly sunny. Let's go in there and make that bacon and have some of that Highlander grog coffee. Yeah, the place is a little messy we got some things laying around on it i got the news on uh, to see the weather it's local news and uh switch that off in a minute check it out always lift that lid up i got some creamer in there and this stuff smells amazing. Uh, one of you out there got some for your husband, I think. Let's see how this tastes. Oh yeah, you can taste the real coffee that way. Oh my gosh, that's the best cup of coffee I've ever drank in my life. That's really good. AC just kicked on. 
again. It hasn't stopped. Because we're in Florida, baby. Florida. What's this? Oh, that's the back one? Huh. Look at that. First time, every time. That's a good camper. Am I selling it? Hell no, you can't believe the damn thing I say. Yeah, everything's for sale. But, until I find me a place to live, this is my house. <laughs> so it ain't going nowhere. I got very emotional with about them roads and stuff. But when she's parked, you know, look at what I'm doing. I'm going in a refrigerator, I got a bedroom, I got a bathroom, I got a kitchen. This is good, man. Well, let me put some bacon in there and I'll be right back. All right, let's get a little light on the action. And let's get us, I threw away them tongs and rubber coated tongs. I told Tammy, get rid of them. I gotta buy uh, some better ones. I thought I had some metal ones in here. I need a few things. No tongs. Oh well. My skillet here has got a little mark on it anyway. So. I like a lot of bacon because it's the uh, Atkins diet. I wish I had some eggs. Uh, we're gonna make some toast. We got a loaf of bread last night. Right here. Over at Walmart. Get the toaster out. And drink some more of this coffee. Gosh, Highlander Grog. So good. Thanks, Deb, the barber, the retired barber that turned me on to this. Thank you so much. Did I show you my gold? My drawer of gold? Check it out. <laughs> my drawer of gold, baby. this bacon separated so it can be cooked. <clears throat> Last night we were at that barbecue place. I'm so sorry I didn't video that. That back beach barbecue? That's the real deal, folks. You're not going to go to uh, North Carolina and get any better barbecue than that. Tammy, tell you. She's an expert on um, Her granddaughter FaceTimed her when we were there, but it was noisy, so they kept asking if it popped tin. That's who I am. <laughs> I couldn't talk to them. I was just standing in line. Man, they, they, uh, they take a while to serve you there. I mean, they got one guy weighing the meat out and, and making the sandwiches, but... We were like, I don't know, only the fourth person in line we got there, and then people just started piling in. And we read about that online, too, that the line can be out the door. Sure enough, there's so many good eateries around Panama City Beach, and the growth is really amazing. This place is absolutely off the chain. I have now discovered uh, two places that really feel good to me. Uh, one is Henderson, Nevada. Now, I know that it's hot right now, but it's only July and August. It's not hot during the rest of the year. It's actually cold in the winter there. But another place is right here in Panama City Beach. Um, just like Vegas, you want to stay out of the tourist area and then stay off the strip in Vegas because that's just a cluster. But Henderson, Nevada is awesome. I mean awesome and Panama City Beach is completely awesome too uh, there is some traffic a lot of people have come here <clears throat> everybody's going everywhere that's good all the money people are just flooding in there's only a few places that I've discovered traveling even worth living 
I mean, we had a desolate country here. Most of the country in the middle was nothing. I mean, I drove for days and didn't see anything. Uh, uninhabitable. So there's only a few places that, you know, that have the stores and the malls and the stuff and the beaches and the weather or the mountains or something that attracts people uh, for recreation and things to do, weather. Now here, you know, you got a threat of uh, hurricanes, you've got rain all the time, occasionally, one side of the street and not the other. You've got humidity and all that, blah, blah, blah. What are you going to do, you know? Deal with it. Just deal with it. Everybody can't be wrong. That's what somebody wrote in comments, and they're right. 23 million people living here can't be wrong. About five or six million in Metro uh, Vegas. That Henderson is nice. Um, where we're thinking about going, you know, back to South Florida, east or west coast, not sure. Check out the villages, check out different things. We don't know. We really don't. We're trusting in God to open a door. We were getting, even going to investigate Georgia, you know, uh, North Georgia. My good friends live there in uh, north of Atlanta that I went to visit. Um, bless their hearts, they really wanted me to come by again. Reached out to me two or three times, extended the invitation. And I ended up just driving further south down this way, not knowing why, but I did. I'm glad I'm here. Uh, but uh, we'll, uh, we'll visit them again. But Georgia I've kind of put out of my mind. I lived there for a dozen years, you know, in Atlanta. And it was cold, baby, cold. You know, six, seven months of the year. They don't have to snow to be cold, you know. I don't do cold weather. Air conditioning keeps kicking off and on because I have actually all the vents closed. Uh, this is 13,500 BTU. I have them all closed so that all the air will go to the bedroom because last night, you know, we are in a warm area here and she's in there snuggled up freezing now. It'll, it'll blow. You can feel it blowing on your face from the ceiling uh, when you close these off. Um, <clears throat> but when they're open and you've got duct AC throughout the camper, uh, it, it, it's fine when the climate's not real hot or humid. It's equally cool throughout the whole camper. Uh, but when it was hot, um, you couldn't feel it as good back there and we liked it nice and cool when we were sleeping. I just shut these off and don't take anything to open them. You just go like that. Like that. I leave this and that closed. I'll, I'll go ahead and open this one. I gotta clean all of this. And I've gotta clean these. These come off. And there's a lifetime filter in there. It's really nice having that 30 amp power. I got an issue with the, uh, oh, I'll just turn that bracket off. Um, I put a lithium 100 amp hour battery in the front of the camper to replace the two lead acid batteries that were 100 amp hour, but you can only use half of that before it really hurts them. Well, <laughs> There's a reason they've been putting those in, I guess, because this one ain't worth a darn. I put the slide in and out uh, in the back back there, actually, uh, while we were uh, <clears> the <throat> that down so I want it on medium. Um, I opened up the slide so we can get to the drawers in the closet at a hotel uh, once or twice, and I noticed my battery right here. It's full right now because it's plugged in, but if I unplug it from shore power uh, and run the slide in now, like one time, you know, that battery goes down. It isn't, uh, it isn't a good one, or, you know, I'm gonna go back to lead acid, two of them. 
marine type batteries, you know. Whatever you get with RVs. It came with one, and I had the guy at uh, Camp Oaks where I bought it uh, give me another one in the deal. And so I had two, because it holds two. I said, well, if it holds two, I want two. And um, you know, I can run the refrigerator, the TV, and it has an inverter on the camper, so that means I can plug in my coffee maker to this plug right there on battery power and make coffee because it turns it into AC. You know, something low watt, like this 750 watt coffee pot. And I don't know about that battery. I made a mistake. I sold the other two batteries that were in there. They're brand new uh, to someone at the orchards. Um, and the main reason I did it is I wanted to lighten my tongue weight. Those lead acid batteries are very heavy. And so to get rid of both of those, lighten the tongue weight considerably. And then the one lithium that I have in there is supposed to be equal in power to both of those. But I ain't seeing it. And it's disconcerting to think that you're going, you know, I left the camp for two days at uh, the Hampton Inn. But we stayed two days in Vegas and they eat. And it had to keep this refrigerator going. And um, it seemed to have done it, you know, it didn't, everything was still frozen in the freezer. I didn't see any water from a bag of ice I had in there uh, that had leaked out and then refroze. But Tammy's saying that things don't feel like they're as cold as they should be in that refrigerator. Maybe I got a setting to do or something like that. Well, let's get some toast going. She's gonna be getting up in a second. Get this thing out of my, my way. This. This stoop, I have that to stand next to the truck so I can get in. Oh boy, make some more noise, Baker. God. Give me some more of that coffee. I can't wait to drink some more of that coffee. All right, let me uh, get this off for it burns. She gets mad at me if it gets too crispy. Oh, look at that, right when I put the camera on. Ooh, let me get some butter on that. Look at that bacon. I told her to get in here. She bought herself some some little muffins there. Let me put some butter on that the toast, man. Coffee is excellent. Best cup of coffee I ever drank in my life. Bacon came out perfect. I'll get rid of this grease. Police this area up and enjoy ourselves. Russian it. <laughs>